What's up YouTube? I'm getting ready to change my oil on my Aprilia Mana 850 model year 2009. To do the job, I picked up a Wix oil filter and a Riley Auto Parts number 51394, three quarts of uh, Mobile One 10W40 motorcycle blend, and a couple of O-rings to uh, replace the o-rings on the oil plug. I wasn't sure what size o-ring I needed so I'm taking a little bit of a spray and pray approach. They were 39 cents each so I just kind of bought four and what I thought was about the right size. All that's on top of my tinfoil cookie sheet that I will uh, use as a tray to pour oil back in, the used oil back into the bottles. Here I've got just a basin that I've uh, thrown a garbage bag in uh, I'll use that to catch my oil and then put it back in the back in the bottles and throw the garbage bag away Hoping that it doesn't melt when I start pouring uh, hot oil into it, which is a risk I may run First thing we're gonna do is uh, Put the bike up on its uh, on a on a center stand rear wheel center stand To do that I put a sledgehammer here under the front wheel just to chalk it and uh, now I'm gonna Put the bike up on a center stand, rear, rear wheel center stand. Go ahead and drain oil from the oil plug here. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Go, got ourselves a nice bleed. There's the oil filter. Off of there, get it all nice and drained out. I'm gonna take this oil filter and just wipe the drip off, put it over on that cookie sheet I was telling you about earlier, and uh, go ahead and crack open my new one right here. I'm gonna take that 
ugly sticker off. Let's see if I can get that off without causing too much trouble. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? Now you see it? Now you don't. Good. And then, it's always like a good idea, so they say, to pre-fill the oil filter as much as you can. Now, you know, keep in mind, you can't really fill it much, uh, you know, without it leaking out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there and just try and get it started. Since it's at the angle, I don't know how much it'll hold in there, but you know, we'll give it a try. I'm going to take this uh, gas tube here and set it out of the way. Like that oil filter held us in that oil I poured in there. Didn't drip much at all. That's great. And line up with a righty tidy configuration. problem here to deal with. So here's my oil plug and uh, got this o-ring on it here. Okay. I'm gonna slip that off and see if any of these o-rings that I bought are gonna work. And you know what? I, I mean I can just tell you right now they're not going to and that's a real disappointment. So I'm just gonna give this one a good inspection and uh, reuse it which is not recommended by any of, the, any of the brothers I talk to, so, but I'm afraid if I take it off, I'm gonna damage it, but it looks it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go look at it in some better light, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back. So, I'm gonna go with this one again, and hope for the best, and learn my lesson for the future, which is go down to the shop and buy a couple of these uh, when they're open. They're not open today. So, uh, let's, Go ahead and plug this hole back up. Okay, so here's something exciting. The recommended amount of oil from Aprilia is uh, two and a half quarts, which is what I put in. You can see there in that oil window, I'm just short of the two and a half quart, or of the max fill line with two and a half quarts. This is the this is the fill line here, and I'm down here. So I'm gonna run my bike a little bit. I'm gonna check with the dipstick, and then uh, and then top it off. I'll let you know what happens. All right. Before I run my bike, I am going to just do a quick dip stick check. Notice how I'm not threading the dipstick in there. And when I pull it out, I am right good at the uh, maximum fill line with two and a half quarts, which means that the, uh, the window is kind of bogus, which is what a lot of people have said on the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and run my bike a bit and uh, we'll come back to it. 
Okay, here's one of those fun, terrifying things that you kids should not try at home. Got my uh, clamp, uh, clamp buster clamp on my throttle there, keeping the throttle going. So I got a little, uh, little 20 mile an hour simulation here, getting the, uh, that oil circulating around while it's on the center stand with that tire moving. Don't worry, kids. Garage doors wide open with the exhaust pipe pointing out. There'll be no uh, carbon monoxide here. At a simulated 20 miles an hour. Give the stick a little wipe. Go for a dippity doo dah. And oh, see, we 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 suck down quite a bit of oil in there. So I'm reading that at about uh, half. Nah, it's almost full. It's almost full. There's the full line, right? All right. Well, let's see. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it without me pointing and I can't point and hold the camera at the same time. There's the full line. Full line is right about there. So, that's just using the dip the dip trick. No, no screwing it in. A little debate on... Uh, See the three lines. One, two, three. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a do a screw in test. Which I gotta say it really is a really crappy design, man. Okay, so you can see there. We're still short on the line, so I'm gonna I'm gonna top it off a bit. Just topped it off. Didn't run it at all. Just topped it off. Oh yeah, that's that's reading perfect. So that's reading perfect. Took. Uh, Total of, well, it, it, it just, I just topped off a little bit. It was about two and a half quarts. Remember, including the pre fill on that oil filter. So that's it. That's what I got for you. I'm going to take this used oil, pour it back in my bottles. My city has curbside oil pickup. So let them deal with that and uh, go keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up.